What's up, everybody? It's Chris with Games Played here, back with another episode of Devil May Cry 3. And we are on mission 9. We escaped out of the Leviathan's stomach. Well, we killed the Leviathan from the inside in the last episode. And I actually played part of this level for about 7, 8, well, probably about 10 minutes, actually, until I realized... I wasn't recording, <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Um, we're gonna get out of the stomach. I'll let the cutscene play since I've seen it now, but y'all may not have. But yeah, that kind of sucked. I was just sitting here talking to myself, and then it's like, oh, why is this not on? Hmm. None other than Dante comes out of the Leviathan's eye. Covered in blood. Welcome with the Jester. So this is the next stage. Wait. If you're asking for a date, forget it. Cause I make it a point not to go out with women who shoot me in the head. Date a demon? <laughs> I'm not that desperate. Besides, I really don't care for guys who stink like blood. Yeah, you stink, Dante. You stink. You're right. So, tell me, what's your name? I don't have a name. Okay, then what should I call you? I don't care, whatever you want. Whatever, lady. <laughs> And that's how she got her name. I'll leave this to you. Cuz I don't want to miss the party. This Dante is way better than the one from DMC2. That Dante, at least from the first four missions, he barely, I don't even think he said a word. Like Dante is the strong silent type, just doesn't work. We have 13,000. I think we saved for the blue orb. That's what I did before. And let's just jump right into it. Anyway, it's just gonna show us the room. It says we need a mechanism there. We're gonna move on. Yeah, we're gonna move on. I was curious about this before, yeah. Never mind. Provision storeroom. We're gonna meet our new friends. Tell me what you guys think about spider monsters. Cause I think they're creepy as hell. That's a really good enemy design though. They are creepy. Let's fight. So, try to play where I use Devil Trigger up a lot because I used to like always hoard it. Only because I recover life in it. And I found out you can hit in the air with Circle with Swordmaster with uh, these, as well as Rebellion. It's all the more reason to use Swordmaster. Death. There's still more? No. Alright, through the door. Puzzle. Uh, I basically know the solution to this puzzle already, and that doesn't help because we are short. So when we come in, if we break that one, that one, done. Super easy. 
I stared at it for like a minute and then I realized that you could just break them. I was like trying to walk into them the first time. Like I was walking into them. <laughs> I tried hitting one and broke it and I was like, oh no, I don't want to break them. And these guys just sit here and shoot spears at us the whole time, but it's not really a big deal. We just basically want to just, ooh, he actually hit me twice. They never even hit me once last time. They were just all over the place. They only got one eye, so their depth perception is a little bit off, I think, because they uh, typically... Maybe that's why they throw like five instead of just like one. Oh, I say that and now they're going to hit me. Let me in this door. And... I don't like those guys. We could just skip them. And you got this giant room that was confusing. We're getting close to where I was at. I think the statue says something, but not really. You have to restore the mass sacred energy, power to move oceans, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Still short a little, that's fine. And I went in here. Just running through here, nothing to see. And then when here we run over yeah it said item ambrosia which we need to open a door that looks like that symbol in a minute yeah I actually started the boss fight and that's when I realized during the cutscene I, I was like oh crap I'm not recording I did fight the boss for about eh, 30 seconds maybe I played more like 15 minutes damn my luck, I was probably almost at the end of the episode, and I'm basically replaying it. Uh, this is where we want some DT. Spiders always getting in my way. Done. So we bought it. We're good. As long as we don't take damage here. I don't want to have to use an item before, but I think I'm going to have to to heal for the boss. If we make it back to the big room. I'll explore a little bit. So that cave over there. Boss was in there. Not like right away, you have to actually like do some stuff. In there first, there's like monsters and all that too, but I was hoping to find some health first out here. No, I'm like right there. Oh my goodness, guys. I never explored out here earlier and I definitely should have I like that let's uh I can't just jump down to there whatever this one's purple was purple
Oh, I bet you the boss I fought gives me that in a minute. Because she was, she had a purple aura. Why I can't jump over there, I don't know. What's this do? Okay, let's, uh... First off, I want to equip this other gun instead of the shotgun real quick. I never got that gun before. Gotta be pretty strong, right? And as much as I don't want to... Wait, 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 wait. Alright guys, we're gonna go in this cave and try... To see, before I go in the boss store, if... We can get a little bit of money. Okay, that's health. That's what I wanted more than anything. If we can get that extra life up though before the boss and I run back out. Okay, we got 15,000. First off. Devil Star. Not like make or break me, but hey. Better to have than not, right? Let's go buy that life up. We got two, I think, large health. Health potions. There we go, one more health bar. And we're real quickly just gonna save. All right, now we can go fight the boss. And also something I just noticed, there was a red door here. What's up here? Did I break this already? Oh, these respawn. And that's the boss door. Or that's, I think, where you come out and get the item from the boss. This is the boss door. I actually want to have, I think, this gun equipped. I'll see if this gun does better. <laughs> anyway, it's time to fight a boss. Okay, okay, okay. She's a bat queen. Queen of the bats. Dracula's wife. Funny how Dante gets a big smirk like, oh yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, Seattle, she has purple aura. Strange mechanic, you can't actually hurt her. Unless you kill her bats first. So you have to just attack her. And then she does that. And that's about as far as I got. I was trying just to learn her pattern since I knew I was going to have to redo the... Oop. Since I knew I was going to have to redo it. Oh, she never did that move. She didn't do these moves that much. She did like a move where she just kept sending bats at me. Yeah, like that. Oh, I should shoot to stay in the air, but wrong weapon. that there we go Oh, we're so close. I need to use that item. Damn. Already? Oh. Oh my good, all three of them? See how she gets shorter? I didn't even get to attack her that time. Oh man. Okay, what is she doing? Oh, she trying to come after me. Wait, I'm not... You know what? I have an idea. It's gonna cost money, but she's sucking up my health. I'm trying not to use my other item, but... Might not have a choice. Whoo, like one life left.
you'd think so, wouldn't you? All right. I'll help you. Your father was a handsome devil. But you're no slouch yourself. What kind of weapon we got now? A guitar. What? <laughs> so we got a guitar now, guys. I don't know. We got a guitar. So we had to use a holy water and a large health, so we use like oh, it's like a scythe. Guitar scythe? What? Neven. So we'll have to go equip that, I guess. I'm guessing this leads to that little item over there. Damn, she has some skills. Okay, that's the end of the mission. Got B. I'm not going to say that's great, but hey, we'll live with it. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Like and subscribe.